All right, so let's echo the sounds you hear after me. Octopus ah. Jar j. Cat k. Balloon b. Dog d. Goat g. Equal e. Fish f. Inch i. Octopus or sorry. Overalls O, duck K, hat H, acorn A, tent T, elephant E, line O, monkey M, umbrella A, turtle R, shark Sh. Pig, huh. icicle I, rabbit er, sun s, unicorn U, best m, whale w, wagon w, zebra z, nest n, fox. Feather, thimble, cheese, ch, kite, k, anchor, k, chef, sh, rose, z, butter, er, apple, a, ah. bird, er, Quilt qu star r dollar er horse or doctor er yarn y now our sight words and I also mixed in the new sight words that we got yesterday the said some, come, was, into, to, of, have, they, you, from, where, together, today, something, are, Love, what, for, tomorrow, do, to, could, don't, should, there, there. Okay, so... This kind of there is like, it belongs to them. It belongs to them over there, okay? And when I said over there, that means that's the place where they're at, okay? Very confusing, I know. But this kind of there is belonging to a group of people. This kind of there is where, where the shoes are at or where you're going, okay? It's over there. Were, not where, this is were. Were, won't, would, one, your, eight, who, and that is our last one. Okay, let's go ahead and get started with our lesson. Here's our spelling words for the week. We read these yesterday um, for lesson 31. We were on lesson 32, so make sure you're practicing these spelling words. Cactus is kind of a tricky word, so make sure you pay attention to that word. And just practice spelling and reading these words every day.
This lesson has a little reader, gold for a wish. Read the story, answer the questions on the last page, okay? And this is practice, this story is practicing wild quote words, and then some non-decodable sight words are introduced also. Okay, let's go ahead to our spelling sound review. We're not going to do a whole page like we have been doing. We're going to do only nine right now. So echo the words after me. When I lay my hand flat, I want you to say the letters that are making that sound. Ready? Number one. Ch. C H. Where's my pen? Number two, T H. Number three, A. Ah. Short A. Sh. S H. Number five is K. K. Comma C. Final. Digraph C K. Number six, a. Uh. That's the short U sound. Z. Z comma S. E. And mm. That is our voiced T H. Review words, number 10, soft, S-O-F-T. Number 11, must, M-U-S-T. Number 12, sick, S-I-C-K. Sight words, number 13, could. C O U L D. Number fourteen, would. W O U L D. And number fifteen, should. S H O U L D. Okay, remember, these are sight words, so sight words do not follow the spelling rules. However, if you see could, would, and should, they all have the same ending spelling, medial and final position spelling, O-U-L-D, O-U-L-D, O-U-L-D. Could is with a C, would is with a W, and should is with an S-H. So that's one way you can remember how to spell these words. Okay, now for your sentence. What should a sentence begin with? A capital letter. What should a sentence end with? A period, a question mark, or an exclamation point. Echo this sentence. Where is the chart? What kind of punctuation should, I, should we put at the end of this sentence? Where is the chart? A question mark. Exactly. Why? Because it is a question. We are going to write this sentence on the lines at the bottom of your paper. Make sure you begin this sentence with a capital letter and put something at the end of the sentence, which we said would be a question mark. Okay, write very neatly, as neat as you can. And if you need to write slow, write slow. It's okay. It's not a race. Where, capital W, remember, your capital letters go all the way up to the top line. And then your lowercase letters, some have tall parts, they go up to the top line, but the lowercase part, they just meet up in the middle. Where? Finger spacing. Go over a little bit. Is...
está. Chart. Period. Yeah, that's right. I need to put a question mark. My question mark goes all the way to the top, curves around, comes back down, and then a dot on the bottom of it. Okay. Okay, let's go ahead into our lesson. Can anyone read these words? Okay, so echo these words after me. Child, find, old, mold. Do these words follow the rules we've learned? No, they don't because a vowel followed by a consonant is short, not long, right? This vowel followed by a consonant is supposed to be short, but it's not. This word is called, is child, I, child. So it's making a long I sound. This word, find, find, long I, old, O, old. Mold, same thing. So all of these vowels are not following the rules. They are making the long sound. So sometimes we have words in the English language that don't follow this rule. In some words that contain the letters I or O followed by two consonants. So I have an I followed by two consonants, an I followed by two consonants, and an O followed by two consonants in each word. The vowels are long instead of short. There are enough of these words that we can put them in a category all by themselves and name them the wild cult words. When you see a word like this, try the short vowel sound first. If it doesn't sound right, Try the long vowel sound. Does anyone know why we call these wild cult words? So let's look at these words and see if we can figure it out. I'm going to write wild cult. This I is followed by two consonants. It makes a long vowel sound. This O is also followed by two consonants. It makes a long vowel sound. And if we were to say this I as a short vowel, it would say wild and cult. That cult. It doesn't make sense. Okay, so we have to change it. We can't say it with the short sound. We have to say it with a long sound. Okay, so the short sound doesn't sound right. So this word wild and this word cult is telling you what the rules are, okay, for wild cult words. Words with I's and O's followed by two consonants are usually going to make the long vowel sound, okay? If you get out your student spelling dictionary and reference guide, booklet, um, go to the index, and let's see if we can find where these words are. We have irregular spellings at the top. Ooh, go all the way down. Wild cult words starts on page 38. Go to page 38. And here they are. Okay, here are some of the words that are wild cult words. Wild cult words are irregular sp for spelling. Here are some wild cult words. Here are some examples if you need to go and find a word that might help you figure out what it says or how to spell it. Okay, turn your paper over to your new words, your new words. Number one, find. F I N D. Number two, hold. H 
O L D. And number three, wild. W I L D. Okay, here, here's something new, okay? Make sure you practice your high frequency words. However, here's a place to practice sentences, sentence writing, which everyone needs to practice. Okay, so with these lines, write a, a sentence or two using some of your sight words in this box. Okay? Going to our worksheet. Once again, same thing as yesterday, we have some sentences with a question mark. One thing that I do want to show you, that I forgot to show you, we also have talked about contractions. I want to show you a contraction and tell you what it means because you hear it a lot. You hear it every single day, okay, whenever you ask about the time, okay? So usually when you ask about the time, it's, let's say it's 10 o'clock, 10 o'clock. So you write o'clock like this. Okay? This is a contraction. Does anyone know what the missing letters are? Okay, so this is a shortcut for of the clock. Pretty interesting, right? Okay, so we can code this word. We have digraph CK, cross out the C because it makes that K sound. This O is a short vowel. My C is followed by a consonant, so that means it has a K back. And this is a long vowel sound because it's by itself. O, O, O clock. So when you say, 10 o'clock, you're saying 10 of the clock. Right. Yes, something new that we did not know. Going back, we have number one. Matt will wind. Now, what if I said wind? Okay, because that W-I-N-D also spells wind, but Matt will wind the clock at 10? That doesn't make any sense, so I need to change the vowel sound to a long sound, Matt will wind the clock at 10 and set it for 6 o'clock. When will Matt wind the clock? So when will he wind the clock? Matt will wind the clock at 10. So at 10, Matt will wind the clock at 10. Complete sentences, please. If I find Mark, I will tell him that he was a big help at the contest. Where was Mark a big help? Mark was a big help. I'm using sentences, I'm using words straight from my question. That is called restating the question. Mark was a big help. Period, I'm done. No, I didn't answer the question yet. Where was Mark a big help? He was a big help at the contest. Mark was a big help at the contest. I did not make up any other words. I used the words straight from my question and my sentence. The wild colt bit Jim when he fed the dogs first. What bit Jim? The wild colt. You know what a wild colt is? I know we just talked about wild colt words, but we're not talking about a word biting Jim. A wild colt is a horse. It's a young horse. 
the wild colt bit Jim. Capital J, because that is Jim's name. Always capitalize J. I mean, always capitalize people's names. The child must mind her dad, or he will not let her dog run in the park. What will run in the park? What will run in the park? The dog, right? The dog will run in the park, period. Watch your finger spaces. Make sure you're spacing your words out. Try to write on the line. Don't try to have your letters and everything floating all over. Try really hard. You might not be able to write as fast as me, but that's because I've had years and years of practice writing, okay? It might seem very hard right now, but just take your time. The mild winter left us wishing for the cold. What kind of winter was it? What kind of winter was it? The mild, it was a mild winter. It was a mild winter. And I recognized some wild cult words as I was reading, like this word mild. It's a vowel followed by a consonant. However, it's an I followed by two consonants. So it is going to be a long sound, okay? The back, there's only four questions to answer. Write them in complete sentences, please. Practice your writing. And on the bottom is just a little parent guardian letter about what you are learning about. All right, that is it for today.